So you're shopping for espresso machines and you're seeing a lot of terms referring to vibration pumps, rotary vane pumps, and it just doesn't make any sense. Well, luckily we're going to go over that today and hopefully clear up any questions that you might have. So this is a vibration pump. We have our input over here, our output over here, and our motor in the middle. It's a very small motor. Now, these are found on espresso machines with water tanks or reservoirs. In some cases, but they are rare, you can find them on machines with direct water connection. Now, with this particular pump, you can draw water directly out of the tank with less risk of damage. In the case that there is damage, the cost of repair is going to be much less and much more cost efficient. So, just looking at this by in size and weight, you wouldn't think that it can really handle that much horsepower or really give your machine the best energy that it could possibly get. But this does in fact handle approximately 40 to 60 espresso extractions daily. Now this also has built-in passive pre-infusion and it allows the brew pressure to build up slowly. So something that's about seven to eight bars, that's going to take about seven to nine seconds to reach. Now really the only con about a vibration pump is that it can be a little bit noisy during boiler refill. So over here, we have a rotary vane pump. Now, just by looking at it, you see it's two separate pieces. We got the motor, we got the pump. These are found on espresso machines with direct waterline connection, or you can find them on switchable espresso machines. You will also find espresso machines with a rotary vane pump located in cafe or restaurant settings just because of the high volume of espresso being extracted on the daily. We're talking about one to 300 espressos or coffees. So let's have a look at this pump. We have our input, we have our output. This piece right here in the middle, on the inside, it's similar to a water wheel, like a water wheel on a mill. So when you attach this to your motor and you turn the motor on, the water is gonna enter through the input here, cycle through this water wheel, and come out through the output up top. Now I'm gonna turn this around just so you can see. This piece right here, See that right there? That's going to attach right in there, okay? Right into the motor. And you see there's a piece where it's going to fit like so. So when you turn the machine on, this motor is going to spin this metal piece like that. That's going to move the water wheel in here so that the water flawlessly cycles through. This little screw here, that adjusts the brew pressure. So if you turn it to the left, that's going to lower the pressure. If you turn it to the right, that's going to increase the pressure. Now, with a rotary vane pump, the pressure is going to be constant and there's going to be less noise during operation. Really, the only things you might have to worry about is the fact that because it's made of brass, it's more susceptible to lime scale buildup. That's just something that happens when it comes in contact with the water frequently. With the vibration pump, that does have brass on it, but it's not really like a heavy amount of brass. So I hope any questions that you may have had were answered in this video. If you're still unclear about certain things having to do with these pumps or any machines in general, don't hesitate to leave any comments in the box below. We'll get right back to you. Also take a look at our description box. We'll have some more information for you there. If you like what you saw today, please subscribe to our channel, share with your friends, and visit us at firstline.com.